Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rashad Khalifa, and what I'm about to share with you is the most important news in the history of the world. Because this is the most important news, it comes with something unique, something never witnessed before, a built-in irrefutable proof of authenticity. The world's leaders are invited, as well as each and every one of you, invited to examine the evidence, then take action in accordance with this news. Here are the headlines. This year, 1986, is the last year to experience the world as we know it today. A new worldwide era or worldwide system will begin sometime between September 6, 1986 and August 25th, 1987. We are recording this bulletin on May 15th, 1986. The new era will last 303 lunar years, which is equivalent to 294 regular years, after which the world will come to an end. In other words, after 300 years of a new era, the world will end in the year 2000 280. Until now, the world has served as the testing ground for Satan's claim that he can be a god besides God. Up until now, the world has been Satan's domain. Satan's incompetence as a god has been proven by the abundance of misery, disease, famine, divorce, oppression, and wars in this world. In the new era, Satan will throw up his arms and declare his failure. For thousands of years, Satan has been trying very hard to make his domain, the planet Earth, a perfect place where everyone enjoys perfect health, perfect wealth, and perfect peace. But he just couldn't do it. While Satan's kingdom is plagued with misery, disease, famine, poverty, oppression, and wars, the upcoming era of God's kingdom is characterized by perfect health, perfect wealth, and perfect peace and joy. To become a member in the upcoming kingdom of God, you must satisfy three minimum requirements. First, you must believe in the one true God as the omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent creator and sustainer of the universe. You must believe in the one true God, the specific one who actually created you. You must believe in the one true God alone, without idolization of any creature of God, such as Jesus or Mary or Buddha or Muhammad or the saints. The definition of idol worship is believing that anyone or anything other than God can benefit you. The second requirement for membership in the upcoming kingdom of God is to believe in the hereafter, resurrection after death, heaven, and hell. The third requirement is to lead a righteous life. And this means that you are a person who is honest, truthful, nice, one who never hurts anyone. So these are the three minimum requirements for membership in God's kingdom. First, to believe in God alone without setting up any idols. Second, to believe in the hereafter, 
third to lead a righteous life. This news bulletin confirms the conclusions of the outstanding Christian scholars who thoroughly researched the Bible, then concluded that Jesus is neither God nor the Son of God, but a great teacher and the messenger of God. They published their findings in the famous book, The Myth of God Incarnate. The next headline is actually an invitation and a challenge to the world's leaders to examine the evidence, the incontrovertible physical evidence that comes to the world built into this message. I invite them to examine the evidence, then take whatever action they deem necessary to save their own necks and the necks of millions of people who follow them. I invite Billy Graham to examine the evidence, then repent and save himself and his millions of followers. One of Dr. Graham's favorite statements is, I know I am going to heaven. Well, I have news for Dr. Graham. He will see heaven only if he repents and reverses the mobilization of millions of people against Jesus Christ and the teachings of Jesus Christ. I have no doubt about the sincerity of Dr. Graham, but I can show him physical evidence proving that he has been used by Satan to oppose Jesus Christ. I invite Billy Graham, Pat Robertson, Jerry Falwell, Robert Schuller, Oral Roberts, Jimmy Swaggart, and all evangelists to join God's kingdom by upholding the teachings of Jesus Christ and by abstaining from offending Jesus by calling him God or Son of God. I invite the Pope to join God's kingdom before it's too late. I call on Pope John Paul II to examine the evidence then lead his one billion followers out of Satan's grip and into God's upcoming kingdom. The Pope is in contempt of God so long as he idolizes Jesus, Mary, and the saints against their will. Rabbi Kushner of Boston has published a book entitled When Bad Things Happen to Good People. This book exposed Rabbi Kushner's denial of God's omnipotence and revealed the reason why Satan had victimized Rabbi Kushner and his late son. I invite Rabbi Kushner to break away from his persecutor, Satan, and to join God's kingdom by professing God's omnipotence and by taking whatever action necessary to retract his blasphemies against God. This bulletin declares that the Muslim world has been in Satan's camp for 1200 years. The Muslims in mass have abandoned the word of God in favor of man-made fabrications. I invite the leaders of the Islamic world to stop misleading their one billion followers and to join God's upcoming kingdom by upholding the word of God and nothing but the word of God. I must point out that no one should ever think that I am judging anyone. Only God is judged. What I uttered in this bulletin was God's judgment, not my judgment. And God's judgment is supported by its built-in 
proof of authenticity that anyone can examine and verify. May God guide us all towards membership in his eternal kingdom.